Welcome. Here at Emory, our physician teams are at the forefront of medical knowledge and research. In fact, every day they are developing new procedures that are changing the face of medical history. Epilepsy is just one of those ways. Our Emory doctors are leading the way in terms of innovation and treatment. Did you know that epilepsy affects 2.7 million Americans with 200,000 new cases occurring each year? Well, that's the bad news. The good news is, here at the Emory Health Sciences Center, they're developing new innovations and treatments every day to try and cut those numbers back. The following short presentation by the Emory Neuroscience team is designed to provide you with information you can use about epilepsy and the leading forms of treatment. Dr. Robert Gross. Well, epilepsy has been around for eons. Uh, patients have been incapacitated by seizures uh, um, in every culture, uh, going back uh, to the beginning of uh, recorded uh, history. Um, in the last century, last half century, we've had medications that finally are able to stop a lot of seizures or to limit the type of seizures that patients have. Um, but about 50 or 60 percent of patients, despite trying one medication after the other, uh, continue to have seizures that disable them in their uh, activities of daily life. As you probably know, the brain uses electricity as its language, uh, but it has to be well controlled. And when abnormalities occur, either from developmental problems or brain injury, or from processes like infection or other processes we don't understand, the electrical activity extends far and wide from where it should extend so that patients have abnormal and synchronous large-scale electrical discharges that go throughout either a limited region of the brain or extensively. When those electrical discharges are contained within one lobe of the brain, for example the temporal lobe, patients may experience abnormalities in their behavior where they're not responsive to what's going on around them, but they stay alert and uh, they, they have their eyes open, um, but they're not aware of what they're doing. When the seizures spread to both sides of the brain, then patients begin to lose consciousness. They may drop or they may fall to the ground and experience what we call tonic-clonic seizures or, or that violent shaking that, you're, that you are familiar with. Those are generalized seizures. Uh, there's nothing more gratifying, I think, that a doctor can do for a patient than to cure epilepsy in any patient, and especially a younger patient, and have them return to a normal life. My oldest patient uh, that has undergone this operation is 67 years old. She had seizures for 47 years. And I asked her why she wanted to have surgery at this point. You figure she'd, had, she'd adapted to her seizures after all this time. And she was concerned just about falling and hurting herself and that her husband wasn't going to be around forever and who was going to take care of her. I thought that was reasonable. And we did the operation and she returned after several months. And I said, how are things going? And she said, this is my life part two. She never realized what it was going to be like without having to worry about seizures. She's returned to driving after all this time. She's gone back to school at the age of 67. Emory Healthcare offers a unique approach to caring for epilepsy and other neurological conditions. If you want more information, call 404-778-7777 or visit our website, www.emoryhealthcare.org to find out more about the Emory Neuroscience Team. Emory advancing the possibilities for you.